This may be the smallest 917 in the world, but it was designed by a very famous man you've probably never heard of, but you are about to meet him. I'm Larry Wood. I worked at Mattel for 49 years so far. Uh, been a great go. I, I've enjoyed every minute of it. I got to do all the hot rods I've ever wanted to draw in my life and ended up doing the little model cars of those. So um, it was the kind of job, a dream job. I was going to draw hot rods on my spare time and I ended up getting paid to draw hot rods. So you can't beat it. The coolest thing about working at Hot Wheels is you get to design something every day, something different. Uh, you don't have to put a person in the car like Detroit. You had to worry about the headroom and footroom and all that. With a Hot Wheel, you can put the engine in the back, you put it in the front, you can put big engines in, you can put two engines, four engines. We've done everything. So every day you come up, try to come up with something a little different and make it just so a kid can play with it, buy it for a dollar, and have a good time with it. The original concept with Hot Wheels, and it's exactly the same now, you buy a car you'd really like to have. You can buy a Lamborghini for a dollar. You put it on the orange track, it goes down the track, goes through the loop, it does the jump, or you put it on your shelf and say, hey, I got a Lamborghini. It's been the same since day one. I'm hoping that through the years of designing Hot Wheels and selling you know, three million a week for all these years, that some of these got in the hands of some kids who decided to do something about with cars. They grew up building cars as a hobby. They grew up going into the industry, being a designer, being an engineer, who knows? But to me, it's every once in a while a guy comes in here and says, you know, I'm in, the, in this business because I played with Hot Wheels when I was a kid and it got me excited. 50 years of working at Mattel has been quite a, uh, an experience and, uh, and the times have changed. The first uh, 20 or 30 years were basically the same. We did all our, I did the drawings and then we would do a wood pattern and we'd do an epoxy and it would always be this large scale to get all the nice detail in and everything. And then we would go from there and then this would be sent to our companies that made them and they would shrink it down to the actual size and make die casts. Well, ever since the last uh, 20 years or so, more and more computer stuff has come in and now they do almost everything on the computer. They design it, they move it around in the computer, make all the detail and the good thing about that again is you can get down and do a little supercharger on the side of this truck. Uh, so that has changed completely. Uh, even the drawings, the drawings now are all done on the computer. I still do uh, pencil drawings, but I'm retired, so they don't have to put up with me too, too much. But big changes through the last 50 years. As through the years, we're doing collector stuff, and then we came along, we started doing Ferraris and, and a few other cars, and finally we got around to doing some Porsches. I did a Porsche set, and uh, I think it was a 911, uh, a Boxster, and I think I did uh, the, the Le Mans car, which this is one of my favorites. This thing, the detail on it is fantastic. It's got all the right stuff inside. I had to go to the Peterson Museum and measure it and take a lot of pictures and everything. But this was a fun project. So we do a couple of Porsches. Most of the Hot Wheel collectors are into the American muscle cars and hot rods with big engines and everything. That's basically what Hot Wheels is. Matchbox likes to do a, uh, the basic everyday car or uh, trucks or emergency vehicles and things like that. And Hot Wheels is basically a car that somebody's modified, which is perfect for me because that's what I like to do all day. But again, we did a series of collector things for a couple of years. It was really popular. So this was a thing we did. I did in 92. It was a, a, a series called a Key Force. And you had this magic key and they had a stock looking cars. This was pretty good size. This was about 18 scale. You would put the key in the car and then you'd turn the key and the car would just explode open and it was full of rockets and guns and everything. So you had all the weapons to take on your buddy and he had a pickup truck. When he turned the key, his pickup truck turned into a missile launcher and everything. So you would shoot rockets back and forth and everything. So it was kind of a fun car, but if you got nothing to do with your 911, what the hell, make it into a, a exploding rocket car. Well, about uh, 30 years ago, I was working in my driveway and I was realizing it was raining on my projects and the dog was taking the tools and everything. And I had saved up a little money. I said, you know, I ought to try to find a place to go play. And I f was wa driving down the street one day and I saw a for sale sign in this building because a friend of mine was right down the street. So I came in and this place was a mess. There were dead rats in here and the windows were shot up and everything was a mess. It was perfect. So uh, the real estate lady was this nice lady all dressed up and everything at her high heels and everything. She came in the front door and the minute that she took one look at this place, I knew I had it. So I made them a low buck offer. They were just glad to get rid of it. So it worked out just right. I come down here almost every day. Uh, you know, some days two hours, some days four hours. Today is going to be like eight hours. Uh, you work on different projects as you go along. Some are done, some are still being worked on. 
And if, if I finish one, I'll probably turn around and sell it. I like building things with my hands rather than actually driving the cars. So uh, to me, it's building the little brackets and building the, you know, getting the right color on something, picking the leather upholstery color. That's the part I like. I like the creative part. So that's basically what keeps me going every day. And now you've met Larry Wood, designer of Hot Wheels, Hot Rods, Tiny 917s, and Exploding 911s.